this is the baby maker. So behind me here, I have the baby maker. Stealth electronics fast assembly, more fun than your friends, very cryptic. And the reason why there is an aquarium in here is because it's not an aquarium. It was designed this way to encourage the shippers to make sure they don't break the glass aquarium inside, but it's not an aquarium. It's a recent thing that I purchased on Indiegogo. Actually, like most things on Indiegogo, I purchased it a while ago in anticipation of helping to crowdfund a particular device. This is an e-bike and I was debating whether or not to build it out because I've been waiting for it and I've been really, it's my first e-bike um, and it's a e-bike, e-assist bike so I have to actually be pedaling so it's not just a push a button and go thing. If I'm gonna be on a bike, I might as well get a little bit of exercise in, right? And I was debating whether or not to work on that or to work on my vlog, which is a little bit late and overdue. So I figured, why not? I mean, this is footage that I could be using in a future vlog, or actually, if you're watching this, for this vlog. I'm not sure if I'm gonna um, vlog about putting it together. I've never done anything like that, but we can at least take a look at what's inside in terms of how they pack this in there. I was very excited that I got the notification that it was delivered and obviously it couldn't fit in a mailbox and I rushed home in between um, appointments at my office just so I can make sure this doesn't sit out too long on my front porch. So, yep. And this girl right here obviously doesn't really care about it too much. I have now cut the, the bands off and they popped off and they landed on her, woke my sleeping baby up and she didn't even move. She just says, what is this snapping and falling on me? <laughs> but okay, well, let me, let me now get these things open. Just when I think I got it open, there's a whole nother layer inside here that needs to be opened, which is nice because I think the way they pack it, it makes it really good. So I thought it would be harder to open up, but I think as a function of my working out, <laughs> I'd like to say that, uh, just slipping, slipping my hand under here and pulling up makes it really easy to open. I open two with that pull and then there's that. And now we get into the cool thing. So what I got, my model was a 23 inch sterling silver with brown tires, which is kind of cool, brown accents. And I got the pro model of Baby Maker, if anybody who's watching this has one. So according to the tutorial, I have to take everything out. So this is the, the chair. Apparently the chair is not that comfortable, but I'm gonna put everything together first before I start replacing parts, just so I can experience the OEM original model. Here's the accessory box, a battery charger, or not the battery, but the charger, the, um, pedals, and a variety of different other things. Taking everything else out, all this packing stuff. Now, they recommended using a bike rack to install everything. I don't have that. I'm not that much of an avid bike rack or biker. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's pull this out. I think they did a pretty good job packing this together. Now there have been some feedback in the community that often, like a little, some of the bikes have arrived damaged, but I hope, I hope they learned a few things because so far everything looks really nicely packed together. Right, Kayla?
pretty good job zip tying and protecting everything. So far, everything looks like it's in order. It's already threaded on the bottom, which is kind of nice. There have been some complaints about that getting damaged on the shipment. See right here, that is where the battery goes down the tube. So this is not your typical e-bike. You can't tell there's an e-bike, and that's one of the reasons why I got this. And I got the Pro model so that it can have a carbon belt drive, which apparently I've read some reviews where carbon belt drive bikes, the belt lasts for, I don't know, 100,000 miles or something ridiculous like that. I don't know, don't quote me on that. Single gear, so without uh, the pedal assist, it's gonna be a heck of a workout for me, and that's okay. <laughs> This is not definitely not going to be kind of a racer bike. So far, everything looks to be in order, and now it's time to uh, mount things. Okay, now that I've removed the bubble pack, let's see what's inside the accessories package. Magura, owner's manual for the carbon drive, clean, quiet, light, strong. Want to take a look at that, actually. Got reflectors, we've got, oh my gosh, how cute, a bell. She cannot be bothered right now with that. Okay, well. Zip ties for the big brake cable. Oh, they gave us all the tools. I thought I had to go buy tools and I almost did when I saw the tutorials. We have the brackets here for, I don't know what. <laughs> Simple, basic um, pedals. We have um, the charger. And we'll see how long it takes to charge. Um, shouldn't take too long. I guess the first thing I was supposed to do was to install this seat. Okay, it seems it's a little bit too good to be true. So apparently there's something missing from my bar. And it's one of the most important pieces of an electric bike. It's the controller for the electric bike where I can control uh, the speed or how much assist I'm going to have. I, I'm gonna go through everything to make sure I'm not missing it or it's not packed somewhere else, but that could be a problem and I'll have to reach out to FLX support and say, hey, where's my controller? Which could work out because supposedly they upgraded all the controllers, so I should be able to get one of the newer ones. Hopefully that's what it is, but in the meantime, doesn't mean I can't keep assembling this anyway because I could always attach the controller afterwards, okay? Okay, so now I have one of the uh, Maguro, Magura, Maguro, Maguro is tuna, <laughs> Magura uh, brakes, and it seems to be working. Um, now I am going to put on the front calipers, which goes on the left. Great, now they're both on. I'm not gonna squeeze the front because I don't have the front wheel on just yet. The next piece right now is the front wheel, and that'll finish it. Okay. The front wheel is on, it's on a kickstand. Okay, so it is done. Minus the LCD controller that should go right around here. This is what the bike looks like. Charger is right here that charges the battery. This connects to the controller, so that's missing. But other than that, it looks pretty darn good. matter of taking it out, getting some air in it. So what did I do here? Just to be thorough, I dumped everything back out after I cleaned everything up and it's a good thing I did, right Kayla? Because look what I found hidden, wrapped within one of the white tubings is Ta-da, the controller, yay. Okay, so, and I found another instruction manual here too that was also tucked in there. I have to let customer service know that they don't need to send me another one, a new one. Yay. 
Aren't you excited, Kayla? Be excited. Be more excited for me. She doesn't care. Okay, great. This means I could potentially ride the bike today. When I really should be working on my vlog. <laughs> that is a loud charger. And it's charging the battery. This thing is what controls it all. And I don't even know if I could turn it on. Oh, I can turn it on. FLX, I could do it zero. And I could do one and go on from there. Up to a five level assist. To zero. Excellent. And it measures also how fast I am going and how many miles I have gone. That's kind of nice. And with that, the bike is truly done. Now I just have to charge it, wait till it finishes charging. All right, let's see what happens.